Sorry for going a little bit ghost over the past weekend. As I mentioned in the previous video, there's going to be a baseball tournament, and man, was there zero time to film anything. But, you know what happened in the Baltimore series, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the whole series, we're going to break it down each game, maybe a little bit of a longer video, but that's because we got to talk about it. All right, so we're going to start with the first game, Jays lose 6-5, to five, and that was a tough game. That was a tough game. But you know what? I mean, it, it was a while ago, so it's kind of hard to remember. 6-5, um, is it's, it's always a tough game to lose. When a run, one run games where you give up a run in the ninth when your closer's there. Tough one. But the Chase did have the lead. They had the 5-3 lead, which hurts the most. Baltimore clawed back in with a run in the sixth and a run in the seventh, and then took the lead in the top of the ninth. That's not the way you want to do it. But the, So the Jays lose game one. We're not going to talk much about that because that was just a weird game. Game two, Edwin's walk-off home run. What a game. Great game. I mean, nonetheless, the Jays were up 3 nothing, and, you know, tied up 3-3, but they didn't collapse fully. And Edwin, man, that home run, that home run really seemed to get him going. And that's something that the Jays have been waiting for. One of those big guys, Donaldson, Bautista, Edwin, one of those guys to just take off. And that seemed to be Ed Edwin's time. Uh, to really get going, he was only one for five in the game, but we know what happened in the next game, so in the next game and in the finale of the series as well. So, uh, great! That was just a great hit. Oh, that that kind of is what the Jays needed. They needed that hit. But for right now, let's move on to the next game. And, and hey, I gotta give credit to Drew Storm in that one, because he pitched the top of the tenth inning, and for a guy who's struggling and to come out in the top of the tenth. One, two, three inning, good to go. It's good to see. We've all been ripping the guy, and I've, I've said it previously. I, w I can see the potential. I want him to be good. He was good there. Helped us get the win. Good job. 11-6 to six was the next game. That was, that was a good game. That was a great game. Edwin with the three-run bomb. I mean, Saunders back-to-back. -back. Edwin again with the home run. Just a great game overall. The pitching wasn't great in the series, but you expect that. You expect that in a series against the Orioles, a big slugfest series. And we got that. We definitely got that in the first, well, all the games, really. But more specifically, in the third and fourth games is when the bats went unbelievably crazy. Um, I mean, obviously, Edwin, in this game, went 3-for-3 three three with two home runs. He walked twice as well. He had five RBIs, and he scored two runs ridiculous game. Saunders went 3 for 4 with a home run and two ribbies. Great game. Everybody was kind of hitting there and Donaldson we got an RBI. I don't know. Yes, he did. He had got an RBI as well. Great game there. So that was just a great win overall. They needed that win. So now they had the 2-1 series uh lead at that point. But you needed this last game. We needed that cuz you didn't want to leave the series tied 2-2 and you don't really gain any ground whatsoever. And obviously they won 10-9. That was a scary. I was oh gosh, that was a scary, scary game. I mean, with 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 the two run lead in the ball in the ninth inning, and Jason Grilly out there, bases loaded, you know, and then Pedro Alvarez hit that. I thought it was gone. I'm like, not again, not another lead given up by the pen. Carrera with a nice catch, only scored the one. Then Grilly gets fired right up uh, with the strikeout. God, that was a sweet, sweet win. And, you know, that kind of might have been a turning point for the Jays season. I, I, I can't really say that because we've said that so much that this could have been a turning point. This could be a turning point. And we really don't know what the turning point means. I mean, that could have been Devin Travis coming back. That could have been the turning point. You don't know. Nonetheless, great 3-1 series win over the top team at the time. Baltimore Orioles, now they're tied with Boston, obviously. Much needed win. They got the job done. Just a solid win. So now they have the series against the Phillies, two at home, two on the road. Bottom line, they got to win the series three to one. They're facing not a great team in the Phillies, um, and you got to win it. You got even if you went lose the first game, or the second game, 
or the third game, or even the finale against Aaron Nola, because he's a very good pitcher, you've got to win the series. Now, don't be mad if it's not a sweep because it's the Phillies. Look, we're looking for series wins. Look how look how the, the, the Jays have gotten back into the standings by winning series. They haven't gone on a 12-game win streak and then sucked the big wad after. They've won series. They've consistently won them. Obviously, they lost to Detroit, but they lost it 2-1. to one. They didn't get swept. And they came back with a 3-1 series win over Baltimore. So, they've got to win the series. Even a 2-2, I mean, I'd be biting my tongue, but it would be okay. Because it's not a divisional team, not like that. But you've got to capitalize on a team that's not playing good ball. So, um, got to get the job done. Got to get the win. Got to get the W. Got to keep going up in the standings, too. As they are, man. That that that. Oh. Just thinking back to that first, that game one loss against Baltimore, you're like, now we're five and a half back. Things aren't looking good, and the team wins three in a row and gets within two and a half. It. That's the reason I love the game of baseball. No one's ever out of it. You can tell the Jays from last year that no one's ever out of it. You can tell the Jays after the first game of the series, no one's out of it, and they proved it. And they're a good team, man. The Jays are a really good team. You just got to consistently be good. Not as long as I thought it was going to be for a video, but you know what? Short and sweet. We already know what happened. You would have probably seen all the games by now. And the Philadelphia Phillies come into town. Let's get the win. And we'll talk to you after game one.